Welcome to What You Up To Now, day 2390. Sharon Hornells from here. That's the she. I like to hop on every day for the most part. I think I've missed a couple of days in, since 2019. But for the most part, just a couple of days, usually traveling. Or one time I had COVID and was super duper sick. And I couldn't even talk or hardly get off the couch. So I skipped that day. Uh, today we're talking about, and we're focusing on for the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, confidence growth this month, meaning how do we feel more confident? How do we show up more in alignment with who we really are? And our topic today is perfect timing. Now, if you've listened to me for any amount of time whatsoever, you probably know that I don't think anything's perfect. I don't think there's such a thing as perfect. We're all human. We do some things really, really well, and we kind of stink at other things. And that's perfectly all right. That's what makes us unique and special and different and why the world is so incredible because there are so many diverse different people on the planet so today perfect timing how does that impact and we've got trevor's story and guide to the let's grow annual challenge private facebook group page so that you can see how another person another real live human being applied this strategy throughout his lifetime and his story was kind of fun in that he had the opportunity and the timing was perfect because had it come a little earlier or a little later he might not have seen or felt confident enough to take the opportunity. It was an opportunity for an internship that stretched him and helped him grow and set the tone and the direction for the rest of his life. Uh, and we have those pivotal moments. We don't really know when they are until after they've happened and we look back on them. It's amazing how incredibly crystal clear our vision is in reverse. And when we look back on events, however, it really isn't clear at all because we take different events, different circumstances that happen to us, and our brain wraps all kinds of nonsense around them. Hopefully it's positive things that help us grow, but a lot of times it's not. A lot of times it's negative talk and things that we made up that were said and done and happened that actually never were said or done or happened. Uh, but we blow them up in our brain, in our mind, not in our brains, to keep us from, you know, beating our head against the wall because we're so frustrated about certain things. So perfect timing was our topic today. And we're just sharing. We're going to look back in our lives today and say, okay, looking back, how do I know? How do I see now that that was perfect timing? Because there's always an element of good and bad in everything that happens to us, right? Even good things cause us to have to change and grow uh, in ways that are sometimes uncomfortable. So that was super, not super size your business. That was the Let's Grow Annual Challenge today. For super size your business, I went back and I said, okay, I really want to talk about this very, 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 very basic business building strategy. And that is to document your processes, write things down, capture experiences, document your journey as you're building and growing and supersizing your business. Why? Because it's the only way you're ever going to be able to sell it. People do not like to buy businesses that they can't step into and take over and run and then build off of what you've already built. That's why people pay you to buy your business is because you built a system of structures that they can then add their expertise to and grow and build and supersize. But that begins with writing things down, documenting your processes, and then looking at and continually improving those processes. Uh, working with a new client and basically come to find out that she's afraid to write stuff down because she doesn't want her proprietary information to be sold and stolen because that has happened to people she knows as well as to herself in the past. And so she's got a very real fear that we're working to overcome about writing stuff down and sharing information. And we talked about there's legal ways to protect ourselves from that. Are they comfortable? No, but usually with good people and we use our intuition to hire good people and good team members, we, they're enough to prevent people from, from stealing your stuff. Uh, it, it's like why we lock our doors or why people put locks on their doors. It really isn't to keep criminals out because criminals can get through pretty much anything. It's to keep the people that might be otherwise tempted from making a mistake and doing something that they would regret later on, right? But at least that's my take on it. All right, that's it. That's all I've got today. It's midweek here in my neck of the woods. So busy, busy, busy. Uh, but if I can help you anyway, please just ask. Otherwise, have an absolutely fabulous day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow just to let you know what is up in my neck of the woods. Have a great day.